Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayana, for those of you who do not know me. If you are a loyal subscriber, welcome back. Um, today, I'm gonna to be just sharing some tips about starting a waist beat business. A lot of you have been asking for this video or asking questions about how to start a waist beat business. Um, so, yeah. Y'all, kinda of unprepared. I should have wrote down some notes, but I'm just gonna tell y'all from the top of my head. Um, if there's anything else, like if you have any other questions or if I think of something else, I'll just make a part two to this video. But so yeah, let's just jump into it. All right, so we are. The most common question that I get about starting a waist speed business or having a waist speed business is can you really make money from selling waist beads? And the answer is yes, of course. You can make money from selling anything, literally anything. If you believe in yourself, if you're consistent, you like, if you, just those two things, if you believe in yourself and if you're consistent, you can make money from it, okay? It's really not hard. It is the just about the easiest business to have to run. Um, it's very fun. <laughs> It, like you meet a lot of awesome people so i definitely highly recommend starting a way speed business um i'm going to give y'all the easy version of starting a way speed business and then we're going to go into the more like complicated okay so first let's just say all right so first thing first when you first start a way speed business i would definitely recommend that you start with this first of all you have to decide is this a business or is this a hobby is it something that you just like to do and that you want to do it for your friends, your family, or is this something that you really want to take serious and really generate income um, to, to the point where you can fire your boss, right? You need to figure that out because a lot of people tend to say they want to start a waste speed business, but they don't want to start a site. They don't want to send ship, um, ship their item, I mean, their product. They don't want to do a lot of things that you have to do in a business right all right well let's go into the first let's go to the easy thing like let's say you want to start a waste speed business but you don't want to create your own waste speeds which i do now um i would say that you need to find a vendor i offer my vendors list um and i offer three vendors from ghana one vendor from china the three vendors from ghana they all make ready-made waste beads which is like what you can see now um where you can buy them in a bulk right so first thing first, you want to find your vendor. If you don't want to buy it directly from me, that's fine. Then you will just have to really do a lot of research, um, a lot of testing from different vendors. Um, yeah. Um, so you would definitely have to get into that. I would have to probably do another video on how to find a vendor um, because it's kind of complicated. So that's why it is easier to purchase my vendors list. And I'm not saying it's just about like, oh, buy my vendors list, no. It's just easier because you skip a huge step and a huge financial, listen, you'll skip all of that and then jumpstart straight into business, okay? So number one, find a vendor. Um, number two, create your logo. So um, if you wanna create a logo, I would suggest that you can go to, you know, there's a lot of people who, who um, make logos. If you don't know anybody who make logos or you can't find anybody, you can go to fiverr.com. I'll put the link down below. Fiverr.com, they create logos for about $5. The minimum is $5 and up. You can find someone who does, who does great logos. Um, make sure you have your business name, of course. Know what you want, send it to them, and it's done within a couple days. Once you get that back, start, um, make your Instagram page for your business. So whether, and I suggest that you use two platforms. So right now I use Instagram and I use YouTube to sell my way speeds. Use two social media platforms. It'll be the best thing that ever happened to you, okay? Um, now, now that you have your social media platform set up, it's, I'm gonna speak for Instagram specifically. You want to create a business account, not a personal account, a business account. A business account is where it'll say like, book now, text now, you know, all of that stuff in your bio, it has that stuff. It's really not hard, it's simple, but you can also view your insights. Um, insights on Instagram are very, very important. Let you know how your page is doing. Guys, this is, I'm going, this video is, I'm not going into depth about 
in, um, Instagram, business, and all of that stuff like that. So I'm just letting y'all know what to do. So um, create your business Instagram account. Uh, make sure that everything is set up nice and neat. Um, and then post your logo on there. Now you post your logo on there, even though even though you don't have your product, you want to let them know that this is coming soon, right? Um, pr start promoting, start promoting right off the bat. Like let people know and get people excited that you are about to start this business. Okay. Right? In the meantime, you want to be um, okay, and, and and just say that you already have your vendor, you already know what you're ordering from your vendor. You can ask them for pictures of the waist beads. And once you get those pictures, you can start to post the, the styles that you're going to be getting from your vendors. I say start off with at least five different styles. You don't need to start off with a crazy amount or um, a bunch of mixed styles and stuff like that. Only because it's going to be a lot trying to keep up with the inventory. So start with like, say if you just want to do all solids. Start with a couple solid colors or say you want to do certain styles. Start with like five styles just to start. Just so that you can order a lot of those styles so that you can have that inventory on hand and it'll be easier to keep track track of it right now that you um are posting on your social media already um you're getting your followers up make sure that you use hashtags very very important very important um okay so now that you did that right you want to sign up for marketing courses marketing is huge when it comes to having a business it literally is everything you can have the worst product, but your marketing is great. Everybody's gonna buy that product because your marketing it just stands out, okay? So you definitely want to um, enroll in some marketing courses. You can find marketing courses just about everywhere. Um, like I said, hashtags. So find up someone who offers like a $25 marketing course, $35 marketing course, um, and get into it. And it's like, they'll basically send you a downloadable PDF thing and it just gives you like some tips and tricks about starting a business. I mean, you know about marketing your business. Um, I enrolled in one where though they actually teach you how to scale your business. It's like a whole thing. Um, they actually give you captions and um, it's, it's a lot. I, I enrolled in a, a, quite a few marketing courses and I do suggest that you choose multiple marketing courses, not just one but multiple because everybody has their own way of marketing and you want to take bits and pieces from everybody and implement your own things. Um, you not just follow everything that one person does. Okay. Um, there's a lot that goes into marketing, but once you take a marketing course, then you'll understand it more. So we're not going to get too deep into that. Cause that's a lot like business is, it is a lot, but it is worth it. Trust me. So now that you are, you know, now that you're a little bit of a beginner in marketing, then, um, now you ordered your waste beads from your vendor and basically you're good to go. Now you can, um, listen, this is the biggest advice I can give when starting a business is to not look for the support of your close ones. Okay. Do not let that like put you down because the people that's closest to you will not support you. It's a well-known fact in business it, and it's okay. It is completely okay. Don't worry about it. They'll come around. If they don't believe in you, you keep pushing, you keep going. Don't worry about it. Do what's do for you, okay? Um, now, you can, when it comes to setting the price on your waist beads, it's all up to you. And it also depends on how much inventory you order and then how much the shipping costs. But it also, it all depends on you. Just make sure that you can make about at least 50% profit back. So that way, so say, so let's just, I'm just throwing out random numbers. Say if you order from a vendor, right? Um, and you order 80 waste beads for $160. You want to be able to make $320. Because most of the time, like, I mean, all of my vendors, they offer free shipping with your waste bead orders. So, so you don't necessarily have to worry about shipping when it comes to ordering waste beads. Um, but so say if you order $160, you want to be able to make back $320 back from the what's name, right? So you can put up the $160 and then you can reinvest your the other $160. Um, you just want to just make sure that you that you that you keep reinvesting, and if you're able to reinvest the entire three hundred twenty dollars, right? Um, now, I didn't even get into the site and stuff. Hold on, let me backtrack. Let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. 
you want to okay so once you do have your what have your um instagram and stuff set up you can go on and start creating your website so it's very important that you have a website to me because it just makes it look more professional and more real um and it's easier instead of having to handle all of the dms and the text messages everybody can just refer to your website they got the prices they know shipping costs they know everything from off your site yes you're still going to get these questions of how much they cost and what's the shipping but it's easier to send them the link so they can go directly to your site order from there and see all of your inventory on your site compared to you having to send them pictures and it's, it's way easier so i use shopify personally um i use shopify they're pretty good um they they, they give you a huge discount on the shipping cost and then they round up the shipping cost and they charge you at the end of the month just and I think it's like thirty dollars a month to um, to have the site with them, but the, I believe the first three months was free. And um, you know, but you can choose whatever site that you want. Um, also, when it comes to a domain, they'll basically set you up with one that says like charmingshopify.com forward slash charming t. No. You want to get your own domain. Now, when you get your domain, the domain is charmingtea.com. It's very simple. Someone can find you super easy, okay? Um, I highly recommend that you do that. Now that you have your website set up, you can go and get your LLC. Uh, getting your LLC is different for whatever, depending on the state that you're in, it varies. Um, but if you're, I'm gonna speak directly for PA. If you are in PA, it's pretty simple. Um, you can watch a YouTube video and find out how to get your your uh, LLC. If you do need help, I can help you. Um, I do charge a fee though, it's not free, but I do charge a fee, but only for people that's in PA because I'm not familiar with all the other states, okay? It's very simple. But then, then, so say that you went and got your LLC. Once you get your LLC, you wanna go get your EIN number. You get your EIN number, it's completely free. You can get that from irs.gov. Then that you got your EIN number. Once you get that EIN number, you can go directly to a bank and I highly recommend PNC Bank. Go to a bank and speak with the bank, the branch manager, okay? The branch manager, nobody else. Branch manager. Speak to them. Open up a business bank account with your EIN number. You don't have to use your personal credit. You don't have to apply for credit card right now. But it's very important that you do these three steps because if this is going to really be your business, eventually you're going to need funding because you may want to open up a storefront one day. Your business may grow well, and you know, this is the, the goal. Your business is going to grow super big and you're going to want to order thousands of dollars worth of uh, inventory one day. So, it's very important that you have your business bank account because you want to separate your money. You don't want your business money going to your personal account because you'll be confused. Like, of course you know how much you have in your personal account, but it's all going to start to blend together and then you'll be swiping and swiping and you spending that money and now you don't have no money to react. So, it's very important that you get your business bank account and separate your money, okay? Keep track of that. It. It's really important. Um. So now that you have your, so then now you have your social media set up, you are in marketing courses, you're learning marketing, you have your LLC, your EIN, your business bank account, um, and then you, and you also have your vendor to start your, to get your inventory, um, which another thing about the vendor, I highly recommend that you start with that you find multiple vendors. That's why I offer three vendors on my list because you need to start with multiple vendors. If you don't have multiple vendors, you should get another one because you need backups, okay? I order, I didn't. I don't expect one vendor to make all the ways that I order. I order from multiple vendors because they all offer different pricings, they all offer different styles. Um, some may take a vacation, some may be this, some may be that, but this one is always available. So I always have backups. Um, it's really, really important, I promise you. Really important. Um, yeah. So, once you have all of that stuff set up, um, like you're, you're really pretty ready to go. And just, I would just say that make sure you use an Instagram to post three to five times a day. It's important. Only because everybody don't see your content. So, you want to make sure that you are the first thing that someone sees when they wake up and the last thing that they see when, someone, when they go to sleep. 
So that's important, okay? If I don't post, I don't get paid. <laughs> so I have to keep posting. This is your job now. You are an entrepreneur, but you're also self-employed. That means that you are the employer of your business. Um, you're gonna be shipping. You need to make sure that you order your shipping supplies. I will put my recommendations down below. Um, another thing is, I mean, you will learn this in marketing courses and stuff like that, but to learn, know your business colors. You don't wanna be shipping in multiple colors, any colors because you think it's cute. No. You need colors that that mean something to people. Colors spark certain, it triggers things in people. So like emotional triggers. So you definitely need to look into color, business colors and why they choose these colors and stuff like that. That's important. Um, and they create a brand. Don't just, yes, we doing business for money, but don't just do it for money because it's very obvious when you're doing it for money. Um, and these actually mean something to you. So figure out what it means to you, figure out your why. It's very important. Um, I didn't understand why I needed to know why I wanted to do a business. <laughs> but it's important because if not, then you have no reason to keep going. Soon, the moment you get discouraged, you'll stop. You need something that's gonna keep you pushing. A lot of, a lot of y'all are gonna ask, well, how many ways do I suggest that you start with? Um, most vendors start with at least like, maybe like 60 way speeds. It'll be like the minimum be like 60 or something like that. You can start with the least amount that they offer just so you can give it a test run. With, um, let's just say you're gonna start with at least 60 waist speeds. At least 60. When you first start, and that's a good amount. That is it's a lot of waist speeds, so it's a good amount. Like you don't have to go and be like, oh, I need to order 600 waist speeds. Oh, I need to order 200 waist speeds. You don't have to do that. You don't. Yeah, I would just say get unique with your packaging. Like um, you can order stickers. Uh, I use sticker meal, I'll put their link below. You can order stickers, you can order like thank you cards, you can order all of these things. Um, but, and, and you don't have to wait until you get all of this stuff to start your business. You can start without it. You can just start, like really just start, just get it going. Like, don't be, don't be like, oh, I gotta wait until I get this or, no. My vendors, they ship pretty fast. My vendors ship within a week. So if you decide to order from any of my vendors, you will receive your items really quick. Um, so it's not like, you know, and you just want to make sure that you order before you sell out. That makes sense. Order again before you sell out. Um, now, the more complicated part would be when you create your own waist beads. Trust me, I love making waist beads. I really do. Um, but it can become a lot when you are taking custom orders and you're trying to create waste piece for a lot of people and stuff like that. It can become overwhelming. So I would suggest that you get a vendor who creates them for you. It is way easier. But if you do decide that you like, that you know, you like your own creations and you like your own style, you want to make it, you enjoy doing it, by all means, do that. And just, but just make sure that you have, I would just say at least start with about like, five to 10 styles that you know that you can keep up with. And um, I still recommend the V vendor though, because if you are, if you know, or you already have a waist bead business, then you know that you are in like Joann's, Michael's, or online ordering beads all day, every day. Cause you need to keep up with the sales. So just make sure that you have enough inventory, enough bead inventory, enough thread, um, enough needles. Needles are really important. Um, just make sure, make sure that you have enough inventory so that you can keep up with everything and your orders won't be backed up. Um, yeah. And if you are doing permanents, I would suggest that you start with at least 50 inches of beads. Of, of, of what's the name? So like these right here are 50 inches. Like, let me show you it's 50 inches. Yes, you might be thinking like, oh, but I'm wasting so many bees doing it, I'm doing this. Listen, it's fine. It's okay. You can get more bees, but you just don't, you don't know, especially if you like shipping online, you don't know these people personally to know their waist size. And, and nobody really, a lot of people really don't know their waist size. So they are going to be like, oh, well, I don't have a measuring tape. I don't have it. Can you just go by my jean size? Can you go by my bra size? I don't have it. So it's better if you can just do one size fit all, which is 50, mostly 50 inches. And it'll fit up to 3X. Like if somebody ties it up to here, so like if somebody tie it here, they're cool like that's that's a good size you know to send out and and whatever else they don't use they can use it and they can use an excess string to make an inklet a bracelet or whatever they'll get more for their money 
but you just want to make sure that you are um sending out a good size and make sure that if you are making your own waist piece that when you are shipping them you're adding extra string see how much extra thread is on here you want to add extra string and thread like extra thread on the waist piece so they have room to pull pour their beads down when you're tying them okay um yeah what else would it be let me see if i'm missing anything yeah, I'm, I mean, it, it's really not hard. It's really not. It just takes a lot of discipline and a lot of consistency. Um, that's really all it is to business. I promise you will figure it out as you go. But the main thing, the most important thing is to get started. Do not procrastinate. You need to get started. Okay, I'm talking to somebody. Get started, sis. Start that business. Start it, all right? You won't regret it. They're going to be happy that you find me. So as you get into it, you'll realize that why I keep saying it's not hard. It's not hard. Um, I, I definitely miss one very important thing is customer service. You need to build up your customer service. Y'all, we all know people are annoying. We all know that customer service itself is annoying. We know. But do not be that person. And I know I mentioned this in the video before. Do not be that person that talk about your customers on Instagram. That's so tacky. Like, that is so tacky to me. I cannot stand when people do stuff like that. Don't do it. As bad as you want to post about your customers, don't do it. Because that's the fastest way to turn me around as a customer. Like, if I go, for instance, there's a girl sell hair, right? I went on her Instagram. She sell hair. But one post was like, y'all keep asking um, how, what the length of the hair is, where the texture of the hair is. I already said that all of my previous posts, like, stop asking me questions, da 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 And then underneath the post, her friends was condoning it. Went on her friend's page. They don't have a business. So they don't care about how you portray yourself or how you look. But you should. Like, that's so tacky. First of all, let me say something to you. I don't care how much information you put in a post. If a post person acts underneath that post, um, that same question that you already answered, answer it again. Copy and paste it if you have to. Answer it again. It's not that big of a deal. Like, answer it again. That is so annoying. Yeah, because it really be, it really grinds my gears when people do stuff like that. Like, do you want the money or not? Like, you know, some customers are can just be like really, really, really hard to work with. But then that's when you kindly decline their, you know, kind of decline them but you don't have to expose it all on instagram and stuff it's not that no don't do that like because it just makes you first of all let me say this everybody don't see your post everybody does not see your post so it does not matter if you are posting this and they dm you a question that you posted about they didn't they probably didn't see it just answer it just answer the question it's not that big of a deal like, be nice to these people. Even if you on the other screen, on the other, on the bottom, I'm like, yo, it's so working. But you're like, hey, how you doing? Like, you got to do what you got to do. But just remember, it's the law of attraction. If you are complaining about something, you constantly complain about it, constantly thinking about it, you're going to draw more of that negative energy into you. So if I keep talking about how annoying my customers are, I'm going to keep bring in more annoying customers. I talk about, oh my goodness, I love my customers. Like, they always give me positive feedback. I focus on the positive part. And, and and then the little bit of negative that I probably do get, I handle it positively and I turn everything into a positive. I don't go back negative with these people. No, you, you just don't do that. Um, Anyway, so once you get up into like a bigger, like, you know, I mean, you could start now, but you don't have to necessarily worry about this when you first start. Um, I would su suggest that you go into email marketing. Email marketing is really, really big because when somebody signs up on your site and they go to check out, they always enter their email so they automatically subscribe to your list. And you just want to keep them up to date with your what you're dropping and you know what you're launching, whatever. Just keep them up to date for your sales. Talk to them. So um, I use Constantly Contact and it basically i will put the link below but you kind of generate they generate the templates for you you put in whatever you got to put in and you send it directly to all of your customers i mean all your subscribers and you're done um but email marketing is really really huge i'm telling y'all marketing is everything in the, in business so definitely get down into marketing get into it it's I'm still learning. I'm still learning business myself, but I, and you know, I don't have everything figured out, 
but I'm doing pretty well. Um, I would definitely suggest that you always set a monthly goal. Start with your monthly goal. So when you start with your monthly goal, so say if you want to make, uh, let's see, we just starting out, so we're not going to get crazy with it. All right. So say you want to do $2,000 a day. I meant $2,000 a month, right? Divided by 30, that's $66 a day. So say if your waste bees are $10, you can sell, you, you just need to make, you just need to sell six to seven waste beads a day in order to hit your $2,000 a month goal, okay? Um, and, and, and if that's the case, so then you want, you know, you want to make $2,000 a month, a month and divide it by four, that means you need to make $500 a week, all right? So now you know your monthly goal is $2,000, your weekly goal is $500, and your daily goal is $66 a day. You need to know these numbers. It's very important for you to write these numbers down, for you to see these numbers, and for you to um, reach these numbers. I always say go higher. So if your goal is $2,000 a month, just you need to aim for $5,000 a month. That way you aim high, if you fall short, you're okay, right? You might fall short at $2,500, but you gotta aim higher than what you want so you can really get what you want, okay? Um, and you really will surprise yourself by doing it. So, you know that you need to make $66 a day. That means you need to sell about six to seven waste beads a day. So that means that you know, um, and that don't mean stop at six to seven waste beads a day. You need to be, go beyond that goal, right? Um, that it Basically, just simplify everything that you do. Yeah, I could go on and on and on and on and on. On and on and on and on. Um, yeah, you just need to figure out. It's, it's, it's really not hard. I'm going to leave this. I probably am going to have to do a part two because I do want to do a more organized one where I have a list and everything. But I just wanted to get this video to y'all. Um, once you see, let's see, like after a month, you're selling your waste fees. They're going really, really good or whatever. Um, you can start start scaling. Start, uh, go start go and get more. So you can like get more styles. You can go to bracelets and anklets and thylets and stuff like that. Add more to your business. Don't just stop at just waste fees. Add more. That way you'll see more income coming in because you're adding new products to your site. Um, as far as your site, you always want to go back and look at your site. Always want to go back. Look at your site and just make sure that it looks neat. Like, I would recommend that you have it. I'm take, I take my own product pictures. I think I do a pretty good job. Um, I have a ring light, a backdrop. That's all I have. And, my, and I take them on my cell phone. I play with the brightness a little bit to make it look a little nice and uh, bright and neat. And, you know, make sure it's visible. Uh, but make sure that you get a backdrop and a ring light so that way you can take nice professional pictures you don't want your pictures to be laying on a, your bees to just be laying on the floor or your bees to just be in your hand like this some people do take nice pictures with their bees in their hands but some people don't or you don't want your bees to just be just thrown in the pile and you just snap a picture of it no get creative with your content get really creative with your content be very intentional with your content and um open up to these people like when you are posting on instagram and stuff like that Try to get more personal. Like, try not to just post all products. Sell, 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 sell. You'll definitely learn this in the marketing course, but you will definitely want to implement it. So everything that you learn in those marketing courses, implement it daily. Most marketing courses have 30-day challenges. Do them daily. Do them and then redo them and redo them and redo them and watch your business will grow. Just try it, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here because I don't want it to be too long. I hope that this video was very informative. I am going to do a part two because I'm going to write down more things because it's a lot in business. It is. Um, but I want to do a more detailed. Um, I actually want to do like a video where I walk y'all through the day of my life and my business. Okay. Because it gets crazy sometimes. But yeah, y'all, it is really not hard. Just, just do it. Just, just jump into it. Just do it. Take that leap of faith. If you think about this, if this is something that you think about all the time daily, do it. It's on your mind for a reason. Like, it's not just there for no reason. Do it. What you scared of? What are you scared of? How many things have you been scared of before and you just jumped into it and it actually was the best thing you ever did? We all had those moments. Just do it, okay? If you would like to shop my vendors list, you can go to charmingtea.com. I'm going to put the link right here. And I'm I'm gonna put the name right here and I'm gonna put the link below. Um, you can go charmingtea.com. 
um, my vintage list is up there. And um, if you need advice or whatever, follow me at Charming T Waste Speeds. And yeah, so start that business, okay? Thank you so much for tuning into my video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and tell me how y'all liked it in the comments down below. And I will see y'all in the next video. That was bars. <laughs>